first time that you're presenting Will Nascott um, this year. What makes it so special? Well, that I'm going to be there, obviously. Absolutely. That's the main reason. Uh, what makes it so special? I think that something like Ascot is special every single year, and so much effort goes into it. Not only, obviously, the horses, getting them ready for the racing, not only the organisation, not only the, the global viewing figures of everyone around the world watching the races but also the people that go to the races you know the preparation starts months and months in advance and so things like that have to get better it's like a snowball effect the, the races that you saw 50 years ago you'd be like oh my god we do that so much better now and that is the beauty of those kind of mass audience organized events it's very exciting and it's obviously a massive fashion event um, yes. what makes um, an amazing Ascot outfit uh, ingenuity Originality, um, comfort actually, it's a long day to be at the races, um, and also personality, I think it's, it's, it's getting your personality back out there, it's not always the most groomed, it's not always the most expensive outfit that wins for me, it's often the people that wear their clothes with so much confidence and so much uniqueness that that they always win my prize. So, so yeah, absolutely, it's, it's, those, it's those ones. And so you don't have to follow those trends slavishly to look fabulous? My rules in life are you can follow if it makes you feel more comfortable. If you get creative, then you will probably win, definitely. And you talked about comfort earlier on. Um, obviously, it can be a bit of an endurance test. Five days, um, races across you know, each day. What are your survival tips for, for viewers? Well, women definitely to take two pairs of shoes. So you need to be able to take those heels off at some point. Making sure you've got your underwear right as well. Sounds bonkers, but you've got to get your foundations right. You don't want to be uncomfortable. And the fit of your clothing as well. It's got to feel comfortable throughout the day. If you are literally tied up like a turkey ready for basting, you're going to be uncomfortable all day long. So don't do it. Wear something that you can move in. And also have the occasional glass of champagne in. That's a, good, that's a good tip, I like that. Um, how about for gents? Because obviously there's the morning dress in the wall enclosure and then um, suits outside. How do you, as a, as a gent, how do you get your personality across? Because it can be quite strict. It's really strict and I'm, I'm fighting with it at the moment, but it's down to, unfortunately, shirts, ties and cufflinks. That's all that boys have got. Socks? So, socks, maybe. Maybe socks. Is, is, maybe you can, can, them. Should we ever say socks and personality in the same <laughs> sentence? I don't know. Um, but also, I, I did find out yesterday that the back of the men's waistcoats can be any design they like. And so you can have them customised. So I think that the back of the waistcoats could be the one. Definitely. And how about in terms of any cheeky bets that you're planning to um, put on this, this year? I, I will be betting. I need to talk to Claire Bolding. I need to somehow find her telephone number, call her up and get some hot tips. Did you call it a hot tip? Yep. A hot tip. I need some hot tips from Claire Bolding. I did say tips. <laughs>